keeping our theme with sciatic pain, just as a recap, sciatic pain is pain that could start in the lower back, could travel through the hip, into the buttocks, and down into the legs. But very rarely will affect both legs. It would be one leg or the other. What I want to do is show you two tests that we do here in the office that will determine if someone has a weak core contributing to having sciatic pain. So these are two tests we do in the office, one test for upper core and one test for lower core. So first, the test we're going to do for the lower core is laying on your back. What you're going to do is you're going to lift your legs up about, say, 10 inches off the floor. You're going to hold it there. What we want to see is nice stability. What we don't want to see is shaking. We don't want to see people holding on. That indicates a weak core. So keeping the feet up 10 seconds with nice stable core. So if you pass that test, you have good lower core. So for the upper core, what we can do is called a sit-up test. Keeping your hands on your chest, not locking your feet in, and what you're going to do is you're going to sit straight up. What you don't want to see is someone going like this, someone using their legs to get up. You want to use your core muscles. So that's how you want to sit up. So as we address here at the Living Well for Life Center a weak core, we perform these two tests. Then we can build a rehabilitative program around those tests or around that core stability. Hope this information was helpful. If you know someone who has sciatic pain, please share this with them.